your destiny, good morning student, good morning to your destiny. Now, like I've been showing you about the drawing. So this is the cam. This is the cam assembly. And this is the cam shaft. And this is the gear. This cam is driven by the engine like this. So as it is moving, you can see the follower here from this place. You can see the follower is also moving. So when you are told to draw the cam profile, you're simply going to draw how the, how the cam is rotating the follower like this because the follower has to be on this part. So when it is like this, the follower is lifted up. When it is like this, the, the follower is on dwell. When it is like this, the follower is still on dwell. When it is like this, the follower now has a return stroke. So we have the out stroke on the right, we have the dwell, then we have the return stroke, then we have the dwell, and then we have the out stroke. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will show you more about this. Yeah, good morning students like I've promised you in the previous video that I will show you now how to draw the cam profile and quickly I will show you now how to draw the cam profile you cannot do the cam profile without the cam displacement diagram this is a cam displacement diagram of a combine combine of the three uniform velocity I mean simple harmonic uniform velocity and uh, uniform acceleration and retardation as you can see I have done it for you very well Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you will see some of these things as I will be doing them. Now in the next video, let me now show you how, let me now show you how to draw, now how to draw the cam profile. The very first thing I told you, you draw a, a, a center line or a reference line like this. You must identify a center line very much correctly like this, center line like this, center line like this. Center line like that, center line like that, center line like that, center line like that. After you've identified the center line like that, the next thing you use, you look for the roller diameter. What is the roller diameter? Our diameter is 14 centimeters. That is what you've been told by the by the examiner. You have been told that the roller diameter is 14 centimeters. So if it is 14 centimeters, you again go to your ruler and measure 0.7 because uh, we are using the radius to draw and the 0 0.7 will be at this particular point so our roller our roller will be at that point to be 0 0.7 so 0 0.7 uh, you stand it at this particular point first you can maybe uh, measure 14 1.7 1.7 again on both uh, and the both other sides one point should be 1.4 at this point and 1 like that. then from this point you can maybe uh, draw it, draw it uh, like this. You can only always draw it like this. You can bring it down like that. <clears throat> then from this particular point again, you can bring it down like that. So from this particular point in time, <clears throat> now you can draw your roller. Now you can draw your roller. Your roller. You can draw your roller uh, of 0 0.7 using the measurement that you've measured uh, just uh, there. So our roller, that is our roller. Then after that, we know very well that our base circle must touch here. Our base circle must touch here. What is our base circle? The base circle you're told that the radius is two centimeters, as you can see from here base circle radius is uh, is two centimeters so again using your ruler measure two centimeters like that <clears throat> that will be a two centimeters it is it must touch the roller on its base so from there again now from here now you can now draw your base circle like that the next thing we draw it is the prime circle our prime circle, we have been told it is 27 millimeters, so we measure 2.7 like this. 2.7 that 
that point. So if our 2.7 is at this point, again, we will draw it from this particular point like that. So we have been able to achieve our base circle, our prime circle, and the roller diameter. Then from that point, again, I have told you, go back to your now, to your drawings, and go back. We are told that the upstroke, the 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 rise, the rise yeah, of simple harmonic, it is 100 degrees. So you take your protractor like this and measure your 100 degrees. So you can maybe draw a reference, complete a, a reference line from this particular point. Uh, that is completely straight like this. Then from this particular point, here we are told that we can now draw now uh, we can now measure 100 degrees you align properly like that measure 100 so zero uh one two three four five six seven eight nine this uh, uh ten will be down here now you can also use a 360 protractor that is the best protractor that uh, i use but if you have this one don't condemn yourself you can still use it so here we have up to this point 10 this will be our 10 now so from this particular juncture again you must draw a straight line from this point draw a straight line from this point like this so the next point is that we have been able to achieve this this as a 100 degrees rise so the 100 degrees rise now you have to divide it into six equal parts as you have divided it in our cam displacement diagram you can see we have divided it into six equal parts so we have to divide it again into six equal parts so uh taking your calculator you will say 100 divided by six that becomes 16.6667 which is 16.67 so you will measure uh, all around 16.67 uh, it, it can take a lot of time but uh if you are positive you will be able this so this is 10 6 will be here 6.7 will be at this point then again so so we have one two three so here from here to here that is 13 14 15 16 then we'll be at this point again from here we have one two so two from from this point we have two two three four five six seven so again measure plus 10 at this particular point then 16.7 again will be here again and 16 will be here this will be one two three four again plus 10 uh -huh, plus 10 this will be four plus 10 so again you turn your protractor like this turn your protractor like that yes properly like that turn your protractor so this is our 10 and 2 it will be at this particular point like that then you measure like that so how many points are these how many points we have one two three four five six in the exam we have made an error let us first look at where you've made an error i will take time so that i cannot give you wrong information i'll give you the correct information so from here we are told 16.6. So this is will be our this will be uh, our 10. This is our first point 16. Then then 1 2 3 4. So 10 4 5 6 again. So this is our 10. 1 2 3 4 5 6. Uh, our 6 was supposed to be at this particular point. this so that if we turn it now on this other side like this it should be 16.67 it should be easier for us to actually find the 16.67 so from here to here as you can see it is 16.67 so this will be one two three four five six correct so there we have been able to achieve so from this point 
again from here you draw straight lines like this draw straight lines draw straight lines like this draw straight lines from this particular point like this draw straight lines from this particular point again like this draw straight lines from this particular point again like that then this one so you can name this so that you cannot be confused you'll be your zero one two three four five six so you've been able to partition that the next we are told there is a 12 of 50 degrees so put your your a protector from that particular point like this so 50 so from here it'll be zero one two three four five so zero one two three four five so at this particular point here this now became our dwell so from this point here you draw like that so this became 50 degrees dwell the dwell we do not uh, we do not uh, divide it into any equal parts the next one here after this dwell we had this fall a fall of 70 degrees with uh, uniform velocity so again stand here again your ruler like that your ruler like that uh, with your protractor sorry like that again measure 70 degrees so it'll be zero one two three four five six seven so this will be our 70 so from this particular point again like this here now a line like that and then divide this 70 into six equal parts as we have seen in this particular uh, cam displacement diagram we have divided it into six equal parts so you take your calculator like this and say 70 divided by 6 it will be 11.67 11 11.67 11 so again standing here where you put your protractor properly align it with the with the 90 degrees like that so after you've made your point like that so you, you want to divide this portion into two and you're told it is 11 so this is 10 11.6 that so this is 8 9 10 11.6 will be here so this is 7 7 7 8 9 10 11 point it will be here so, so this is 5 10 1 2 then 11 will be at this point this will be 10 11 will be at that point then this is uh, this is uh, this is seven. Met with seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven point six will be at this point. So that from here to here uh, will be eleven also. So from that point, you've been able now to achieve those points. Now project your lines again properly like that. Project your lines properly again like that. Project your lines again properly like that. Project your lines properly again, like that. Again, project your lines properly, like that. So you can decide to name this as zero prime, one prime, two prime, three prime, four prime, five prime, and six prime. And this you can name it as double prime, one double prime, two double prime, two three double prime, four double prime, five double prime, six double prime, six double prime, like that. So name your parts. From this point, you know this is zero prime. That is zero prime. This will be one prime, two prime, three prime, four prime, five prime, six prime. Then we are told there is another dwell of 50 degrees, as you can see here. So you, from your cam displacement, if there is a cam, uh, there is a dwell of 50 degrees again standing on this particular point, like this. When you stand at this particular point, like that. So measure 50 degrees. So from here will be zero. One, two, three, four, five. It will be here. So at this particular point, again, this is a dwell of 50 degrees. You can draw a straight line like that. So this is a dwell of 50 degrees, like this. Some of these questions they require a lot of time, a lot of practice, so that when you go into your neck uh, past paper question, you can be able to do. The next recommendation is that we again a fall and a uniform acceleration and retardation of how many degrees? We have 90 degrees. So from this point, so 90 degrees, even when you measure it from this particular point, uh, from 
from uh, from here from here to here will be 90 degrees from here to here from this point to this point this now will be 90 degrees so 90 again divided by 6 as you can see here it is 15 and we have divided it from 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 our displacement diagram as you can see so dividing again by 15 degrees 15 degrees 15 degrees so align properly your protractor align it properly and correctly so 15 will be 10 will be the first one 5 10 the second one 10 5 again 5 10 it will be here 10 5 uh, it will be at this particular point so this is 10 15 it will be here then again 5 again 10 will be here again 10 5 will be here again 5 10 it will be here then again 10 5 it will be here then this will be 15 that is the correct uh, correct way of doing it so stand at this particular point draw a line that passes through that point draw a line that passes through that point again stand here students again draw a line that passes through that point again stand at this particular point draw a line that passes through that point again stand here draw a line and this one is a line so here we have been able to achieve 360 motion of the cam so you want to draw the profile so you again go back to your displacement diagram and you label first sorry let me first label this one so uh, after here this will be our zero double prime one double prime two double prime three double prime four double prime uh, five one two three four five six double prime this will be our 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 six double prime is it yes it will be our six double prime like that so after you've been able to achieve that now you go back to your to your you go back to your to your drawing which was our drawing our drawing uh was from this particular juncture so here you see zero and zero you go back to your zero line zero and zero so it will be at this particular point remember you stand on the prime circle when it comes to roller one and one one the distance from one to b one to b it will be like that so stand on number one again at this particular point again again there make a mark like that stand on number two like this again from this particular point like that stand on the number two prime like this again draw a mark like that stand on the number three again from this particular point stretch it to number to d the same distance stand on the number three line like this again from this particular point make a mark stand on the number four prime again number four okay draw with the same uh, measurements stand on this particular point like this again draw a mark stand on the other point which is number five Again, stretch it like that. The same measurement. Again, stand here. Again, draw a mark. Then stand on the number six there, and then here, and this distance. Like this is the same distance. Stand here. Again, draw a mark. Here there is a dwell also from this. This will be the same distance. You see, from zero prime to H, it will be the same distance. So stand again here. Again, from this particular point, again, draw a mark. Stand on one prime, again adjust to I, like this, again stand on that line, again this line here, sorry, again here, strike a mark, like that, again stand on number two prime, like that, adjust to J, it will be like that, then again standing on this point, make a mark, like that, make a mark like that, then stand on number three prime, again adjust it to K, point k to get point k again on this point stand here on that line again draw a mark then you can put it like that then stand on the number four and l at that particular point we have that again stand on number four prime line make a mark like this then do it like that stand on the number five again like this on the m prime to get the m prime and then at this particular point in chapter this again draw like that then stand on number six again here at this particular point like this m and m again stand at this particular point here again strike and mark like that then we also told there is a dwell 
So from zero double prime, from this point again like this, you can now draw a mark like that in that particular instance. Then take the other one, which is number one, and zero like this here. Take that. Uh -huh. Then stand on this number one prime again on this particular point again. Make a mark. Stand on the next prime, which is P. Again here. Again standing here. Draw a mark like that. Then stand on the next, which is number three, and C prime number three prime. Again standing here. Again make a mark like that. Stand on the number four prime, which is this. Again that distance. Again from here. Again you make a mark like that. Then stand uh, after you stood on number three, and number three, and number three. This is number three and number three, as you can see very well. So we came to number four and number four, which was here. So we have now have number five and number five, number five and number five, which is at this point. It will be like that. And then so this was number five, which will be here, and number six, which was here. The next thing you take the roller diameter, the roller radius. So this is the roller radius, it was 0 0.7 as you can see, it was 0 0.7, so from this particular point here now, you now start drawing your roller like that across, across every marked point that you marked, across every marked point that you marked. Be very careful, follow keenly. See, we have created time just to help you students so that you can have a good time and easy time at school. Education is good, so please put God first and God will show you everything. You know, the Bible says that uh, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, so fear God. Put God in your heart. You will always enjoy this life. And God will make sure he puts you and connects you to your destiny helper. This is a, a, a channel that is helped and meant to help your destinies so that you can change your lives. Please remember that God loves you. And God has a great plan for you. No matter what you're passing through, is it school fees? Is it pain? Is it torture? You will get it. Just kneel down and tell God, Father, help me because I am your son. And I need you to bless me. I need you to to, to multiply my life and God will surely multiply your life but if you do not put God first how will God then know your problems uh, but we need to pray also in all times that's what the Bible says so after doing all this you can see very well we have been able to achieve uh, what we wanted to achieve this day this is a neck pass paper question please subscribe to my youtube channel for more of this and you will enjoy uh, education you will enjoy learning Learning is sweet when we know the procedure. That is why we have brought up this. So, from this point again, you now draw your displacement. You see how you draw your displacement? From the base of the roller. You see where the roller is? You touch the base. You touch the base. The base. This is this was, this was the dwell. Touch the base. Touch the base. Touch the base. Touch the base. The base so so that this now can become our displacement plan profile uh, diagram you see like that so you can also decide to name your work you know you can name your work so this is our prime circle this is our base circle and this one is our cam this one is our cam profile this is our roller, this is our roller follow, so this is our roller, follower, this is our cam profile, as you can see very well, 
this is our prime circle and this one is our base circle the inner circle the smallest circle it is our base circle please subscribe to my youtube channel and you will you will see a lot of all these things you can see now this was a neck past paper question this was 20 marks when you've drawn this now you're able now to uh, actually get your 20 marks god bless you subscribe to my youtube channel my youtube channel is at official mark mongai like my facebook page it is mark mongai but my youtube channel is official mark mongai but my page in facebook is uh, mark mongai please subscribe for more of this past paper question god bless you amen